In part 2 of the microgreens project, I'll be showing you how I experimented with making some low-cost DIY grow lights. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, where I build the main structure of the microgreens growery, click here. Or find links to all the previous sections in the description below. So it all started when I purchased this 5 meter strip of LED lights, which are supposed to be geared towards growing. I went with the strip light as an experiment to see if I could make a decent low cost grow light. This strip light is probably one of the cheapest options, which means there have to be some major compromises, but still, I wanted to see if I could make it work. The rest of the grow light is built around the LED strip. To create a foundation for the strip light, I used C-channel aluminum, which sells for a little over a dollar per foot at most home improvement stores. I purchased 16 feet of it, and cut it to the width of the growery. I sized the grow lights to the width of the growery instead of the length so that they could be as short as possible. This would give me more arrangement options in the future and also assure that the first LED in the sequence wouldn't get too hot since the strip would be shorter. Aluminum is the perfect material for the job, since it won't corrode, and if the LEDs get hot, it'll be able to sink away the heat. After each section was cut to length, I drilled two holes on either end of all of them, so that I could attach them all to the growery with some screws. After all the aluminum parts were done, I focused my attention over to the strip light, which I cut into equal sections. I then added a layer or two of electrical tape to insulate the conductive aluminum from the ends of the LED strip. After that was done, I simply stuck the LED strips to the aluminum with the adhesive they came with, which was surprisingly good. It was kind of like applying a giant sticker. The interesting thing about these LED strips is that the manufacturers just use the same PCBs for every kind of strip, even the RGB ones, which need three different channels for each color. So even though this strip only needs a common positive 12 volts and a common ground, it has one 12 volt channel and three ground channels. I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure they distributed the LEDs across the three ground planes to reduce the strain on each. So for that reason, I just soldered them all together. So in the end, each LED fixture only has two wires coming out of it, a ground and a positive 12 volts. I insulated the solder joint with some more electrical tape, and the lights were basically done. I just didn't know how well they would work yet. I ended up making a total of 8 light strips and attached all of them to one shelf on the growery. I wish I could have made 9, but the 5 meter LED strip light just wasn't long enough to accommodate one more. Once all the lights were attached to the shelf, I wired them all in parallel to make the system more modular. I'm using a 12 volt 180 watt power supply, which is definitely way overkill for this application. What I'm doing right now is toning the voltage of the power supply down to a little bit over 10 volts, since these cheap LEDs typically run better and more reliably for long periods of time, when they're powered at lower voltages. It's definitely okay to run your LEDs at lower voltages, although you are sacrificing some brightness. I'm saving all the cable management for when I do the plumbing, so I can do them at the same time and avoid any conflicts. My first impression is that these lights look pretty good. I'm not sure what the exact lighting requirements are for microgreens, but based on some other grow lights I've seen in the past, these are definitely bright. 
I was still debating using high powered 3 or 5 watt LEDs or maybe even fluorescent lights for the other two shelves, but based on how these look, I think I'm going to just duplicate them. So all 8 lights draw a total of 2.2 amps. At around 10.3 volts, that's approximately 23 watts, which is pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results of this experiment. I think I'm going to use these lights for the rest of the microgreens growery. Although, I still don't know how well they grow the plants, but we'll find that out later. Subscribe and stick around if you want to see more episodes of this series, and thanks for watching.